Hey everybody, so welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek, thanks for joining us today. So today we're out here in the yard, uh, just down from the house a little bit. We're gonna cut down a couple trees. Um, when we initially built the, the house here, uh, we only cleared out what we needed to as far as trees to, um, to build the house. And so we left the majority of them down in the yard and stuff. So we've been moving around them for the past couple years, cutting a few here and there. I've done a couple videos on them. Um, but we're gonna cut a couple more. Um, a couple trees now that we kind of see where things are gonna be and kind of open the yard up a little bit. I want to start working on uh, getting some grass planted, um, actually make a, a decent yard, um, get some of the stones picked out of it. So, I mean, we've only been here three years, so I think it's about time to do it. Um, so, show the trees that we're going to cut down here today and um, go ahead and cut them down then. All right, so this is one of the trees that I'm standing here next to. Uh, it's an oak tree, uh, about six to eight inches in diameter. Um, but I'll show you up here at the top. It's got some funny branches coming out. A couple of them are dead and it kind of wise out. Um, so it's just not a real good tree, uh, but it, it's not a real big tree. But again, I just left some of these trees here and uh, so now we're selectively cutting them out. So uh, move over a little bit. This is our septic tank is right in here. Um, there's um, some kind of a tree, I think, here. Um, a couple pine trees that we might take down. Um, so again, looking down through the yard, um, you know, there's a lot of trees in here. But I want to get this this area raked up, uh, smoothed out some of the some of the the bumps and stuff like that. Get these rocks picked out and uh, start clearing this out to make this a nicer yard. So down here where the kids are and the dog is, um, just ran some of our some of our spouting drains. They used to come out right at the the base of the hill here from the house. And so just the other day, I took the backhoe and and ran solid pipe down through the yard here and down across and try to dry this up a little bit again so that I can get in here and make this a little nicer yard get this cleaned up so that we can actually use this as a as a nice nice area to, to play and, and just uh, enjoy the the nature that we live in all right so today I'm going to use the uh, steel MS 261 uh, it's kind of my go-to chainsaw uh, for anything that's not real big uh, 16 inch bar on it most of the trees we're going to cut aren't aren't uh, probably over 10 inches so it'll be perfect for that so let's go ahead and get this notched and take it down You guys want to drag some branches down? Sure. Yeah. I took it over there. It goes to the Hi. Hey, why do I shoot 
Yeah. Why? So I know where to cut. So that's all there is to that one. So just a little bit of cleanup here, some firewood. We'll move on to the next one. All right, so that little one's cut up there. That one didn't take long. So next we got these uh, two pine trees right here behind me. Uh, they're both white pine trees. And they're just too close to these oaks. So we got a nice white oak here. Another even nicer one back there. Um, just the, the trees are too closely together for a yard. Uh, it just shades everything out. So we're gonna take them down and I don't like really like white pine anyway. So let's, uh, let's cut them down, see how we do.
So that one wasn't very pretty, that notch didn't look very pretty, um, but it ended up coming down right where I wanted it to, so it's just the way it goes. But I hate cutting up white pine. They're so sappy. There's so many branches, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so I had a photographer on that one. So Addie, she was uh, she was running the camera on that. So who knows what that'll look like? But so we got one last white pine here for tonight. I think we're just gonna cut this this white pine down and uh, then do the cleanup. So that'd be that'd be four trees and uh, all in about I don't know half hour, 45 minutes to cut them down, and then we gotta do the cleanup. So that's the part that takes the longest. But let's just get get this one down. that oak tree so it didn't hit this stump and end up bouncing towards you so it's right where I wanted it to. Alright, let's limb this out and cut it up.
right, so that's four small trees done. Uh, just a short amount of time down and limbed and cut into pieces. But like I said, now the work starts where I gotta drag all these limbs off down into the into the woods. Get the cart or the truck or something down here and pick up this firewood. And so, even though the trees come down quick, it, it, the rest of the work is uh, it's what takes the longest. So, so again, show you guys. This was the first tree. It was an oak tree, about six or eight inch diameter. Uh, there was a little tree there, and then these two white pine trees. So again, everything cut into 24 inches for into the wood boiler, uh, even this white pine, not a lot of heat value in it. Again, that's another reason I don't like it. I put a lot of work into cutting the trees down and getting them split up and everything, and there's not a whole lot of heat in it, but I'm not gonna just throw it away. We're gonna cut it up and use it. Uh, but then there's these two white pines. So opens the area up a little bit, so I'm gonna smooth this out here a little bit more uh, with a backhoe, and uh, again, try to make a nicer, nicer yard in here, so. That's what my goal is, so. So that's all I got for today. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Say bye, Shorty. Bye. Bye. I'm going to talk for a minute. Hey! I found the phone for. <laughs> Set it down! <laughs> <laughs>